Let's do some, like, uh, festive vibes, I guess. I have, like, a nice festive playlist that isn't full of always festive music, but whatever. I need some festive vibes because I am both tired and also kind of, like, um, yeah, slightly exhausted in some ways. Um, Lim Carson, I need, by the way, Lim Carson. I'll keep that uh, music review in mind after this track. We have to pl listen to this, like, on YouTube because we if we play, like, any other track on Spotify... It's gonna destroy the entire stream, so you guys aren't even listening to the music a little bit. There we go. But yeah. But anyway, I hope you guys are doing pretty nice so far, though. How's college or university? I mean, so far university is, um, alright. I don't think there really is too much things to really talk about in university, because I'm already on break at the moment, so... Yeah, it's pretty much alright for, like, quite some time. Alright, so we still need to work on... I don't think there really is too much we still need to work on in terms of the roads. We might need to put some secondary roads around these uh, cliff faces over here, but we're about to probably start work on the building layouts now, because I don't think there is anything too much that I need to address, which is pretty good. Um, yeah, I think that's pretty much all we need to be concerned about. So just a few secondary roads going from, like, the middle of, like, the pathway here to split these areas up a little bit more. Because these are pretty vast sort of, like, cliff faces to work with. Um, this area, mm, yeah, I'm gonna just leave it in for, like, an entire building complex, maybe. So just a small bit of, like, uh, road building or road planning for a little bit, and then we'll continue on with our building layouts. And hopefully nothing goes horribly, horribly wrong, hopefully, I guess. Anyway, uh, let's see, drop this. I do not want to carry more leather stuff in my inventory. Dump all of that. There we go. Mm -mm -mm. Don't think there really is too much uh, things to worry about for today's stream, hopefully. Just focusing on the chill vibes and making sure that I do not lose my sanity while doing all of this still. I mean, compared to ice placing and, like, all the work we did with Ice Nemesis, I think this entire project has been, like, the least, like, um, what's the word? Problematic for my brain, I think, because mainly everything is a little bit more organized compared to what we did for Ice Nemesis, which I guess is a good sign or a good thing for us in terms of building stuff. So that's pretty pog. All right, so we'll need to probably build a road like this. Would that look good? I kind of want to build like a road that's right next to the cliff face, but I don't know if that's a good idea or not. But then again, I don't want to build buildings directly underneath this pathway, so maybe it's wise to have like a sort of pathway that touches on the edge over here, maybe? I'm really conflicted sometimes when it comes to, like, doing some building projects or planning projects. Anyway, how's Ice Nemesis? It's still in a bit of a limbo. We're pretty much uh, prioritizing all their work on to the Nether City for a bit, because so far we're making a lot of good progress on the city itself. But for Ice Nemesis, it's pretty much just stuck on a limbo for a bit, because... Like, a lot of things are just getting a bit slow, and I've been very busy with, like, other stuff as of recently. It still looks pretty great, though. It still is as it is, as far as I know. There's still, like, a lot of, like, um, uh, what's the word, uh, internal construction that I still need to deal with in terms of, like, the inside of the buildings and also the pathways. But pretty much I can leave them on for, like, a different time next year because there's a lot of work that I still need to figure out as well for both this project and Ice Nemesis. But pretty much we can just chill for the meantime. Alright, with that track over, let's, uh, I guess we can try and review or do a music review on whatever Numero de Danskheider is. Apparently their math teacher made it, according to Lim, which is interesting. Alright, time to get copyright strike. Rest in peace, um, everyone on uh, listening to the VODs right now, because I have legitimately no clue what this track is, and there's two different... Uh, I'm presuming it's the non-remix version, because <laughs> I can see a remix version, apparently. Um, is this even right? False Sticks and Dance Kaida. No, I don't think this is. Actually, I mean, this is the same track name. So I presume this is the right track. Unless it's not, then I have no idea how that's gonna go. I feel like we should probably, like, have, like, a display here so that way we can see what the thing is about. I mean, I guess the only thing I kind of like about it is probably the drums. I mean, it's a pretty nice pop track, though. It's definitely pop in some ways, because I don't recognize any other genre apart from that. 
I don't understand any of the lyrics, so I can't really tell if I can uh, add this to any of the playlists, but it's, uh, it's not a bad track, I think. The fact that your math teacher did that, that's actually pretty remarkable. Yeah, I kind of like I, I kind of like the beats, honestly. The way that like uh, the beats like arrange is pretty much like similar to like any other like major pop so song of some kind, but it has a much more like um, deeper kick compared to like other pop songs. So that's not too bad. Not too bad. I'm not gonna add it to any of my playlists because I don't understand any of the lyrics or pretty much like I'm not really a big fan of like adding pop songs to any of my playlists. But that's not that's not too bad, I guess. But that's all I can really say about it. So yeah. <laughs> Not too bad, not too bad. That's a good score of not too bad out of 10. What, you you can, can convey that <laughs> whatever you uh, want, I guess. But that's not too bad, I guess. But anyway. Alright, let's keep going back and still keep on working on the uh, Nether City stuff. How you doing, by the way? Mr. Matty is cool. Hope your day's been doing pretty nice. Hope your day's been doing pretty well. Yeah, I, I think I'll be uh, fine without like the translation. Thank you very much, Lim Carson. And I think usually whenever like um, like uh, people suggest like a foreign song, it's better to have like um, like non-translated uh, translated or dub lyrics or anything like that. It's better to have it like uh, ha sorry, better to have like the like the song or the track like uh, correspond to um, what the lyrics are in like a foreign language instead. Anyway. Hello, I'm sick, so, uh, not doing very well, says Mr. Matty. Big fat rip. Hope you feel better soon, though, mate. Sucks, though, that you're not feeling too well. Mm -mm. Alright, anyway, let's go over here, and we'll see how this would go. So, Twitch recap, I spent 81 hours on this channel, which sounds like quite a lot. But, I think that's only, like, Almost like a third of the entire, like, uh, full hours I've spent streaming, I guess, so... I think that's actually pretty reasonable-ish for a very active viewer, I think. Do I recommend songs on YouTube or Spotify? For the music review, it can be both. Ideally, like, if it's on YouTube, that'll be better. Because <laughs> if I ever try and play, like, a song on Spotify, it might take the entire OBS software hostage. And I ideally, I don't want to, like, destroy OBS while streaming. You know, that will be highly ideal and not problematic compared to, like, anything else. But, yeah, that's probably, like, the only, like, sort of requirement, I guess. But, eh, technically all Spotify songs would be posted or also allowed to be streamed on YouTube unless there's some sort of exclusivity agreement of some kind. But, as far as I know, I don't think there is any sort of Spotify tracks that have that. So, yeah, it should be fine, I believe. Um, I don't think we can fit any secondary roads over here. I don't want to put any straight roads going through the middle of this sort of block, so I think we're pretty much good as we are right now. If you want to know what we're making right now, you can do exclamation mark project or exclamation mark building, Mr. Maddie. All the commands that you want to, like, uh, use is always in the title. I mean, uh, unless you're using mobile, then you might need to scroll <laughs> horizontally scroll through the title, because for whatever reason, it doesn't show, like, the full title in some ways. But it's in the title. You said you like progressive rock, right? I mean, yeah. Depends on how good the progressive rock is, though. I mean, most progressive rock I believe I listen to is actually pretty decent, but there might be some, like, ways it might be a bit whack, but who knows. Alright. I think we're pretty much done with all the roads, I think, because I don't think there is anything else that I need to be too concerned of. Um... The spaces over here look to be pretty good. Um, yeah, that looks pretty good. Spaces over here look to be pretty much good as well, so I don't think there really, <clears throat> excuse me, voice crack. I don't think there really is anything else we need to, like, uh, change or fix up, so I guess without further ado, we keep going with our, um, I guess, building plans now, I guess. I have no idea how to segue to the next part of this entire stream, but yeah, I don't think there is anything too much to be concerned of, so straight to the building process, I guess. Mm-mm. <laughs> Excuse me, uh, Hoglins, just don't mind me. Oh my god, I always hate having to deal with these guys. Alright, yep, you run away, you really are being annoying, baby pig- Um, not piglin, Hoglin, holy frick, my brain. Okay, we can dump that, we can- Actually, we can store that over there for now, because we need some white glass. How much light gray glass? We have plenty of light gray glass, perfect. Um, some orange glass, some green glass, and some black glass, perfect. I need 
some inventory space or else I'm not going to pick up any of the uh, excess amounts of red glass. Can you please leave me alone? For heaven's sakes, bring hoglins, I swear to god. Okay, I'll dump this extra stack of like white glass then. Alright, time to do some like uh, city building a little bit, or yeah, bil building plans I guess. We'll need to move the shulker boxes to like some part of the pathway pretty soon because we need to uh, build some plans around through this plot of land over here, so that's going to be a little bit inconvenient. But anyway, time for some more building plans. Alright, see you later then, Mass Boy, I guess. Be sure to get some good rest. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, get some good rest, Mass Boy. Also, I hope you're doing pretty nice uh, as well, second, by the way. I forgot to, like, acknowledge about that. Also, uh, Waf, uh, Jatter, DH. Apologies if I can't pronounce your name correctly. Sorry for if I missed your, uh, your, uh, follower alert, Waf. Hope you day's been doing pretty well, though. God, I cannot read my bloody, like, dashboard very well, I guess. Or maybe my brain's being stupid. I have no idea. Anyway, chill vibes time. Mm, 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 mm. Just keep breaking stuff around through here. There we go. Just a nice simple plot of land. We can easily split this up, I believe, into two or three buildings. Most likely two, because I don't think there really is a lot of space for a third building. Um, but we can see how much we can arrange, I guess. Uh, yep, that should be all good. Just put some simple, like, perimeter stuff real quick. So we know how much space we have to work with. How you doing, by the way, FJ? Yeah, I'm just gonna say FJ. How you doing, by the way, mate? Hope your day's been doing pretty nice. And also welcome to the Fox Army. Alright, go over here. But yeah, hope your day's been doing pretty nice so far, mate. Alright. Um, we got that perimeter sword out. So how do we want this to be split up? Um, I might as well add, like, the wall blocks for now. Because I want to know how much internal space we can work with in terms of, in terms of like, this, like, building plot. If I can split this up into multiple buildings, that would be great. If not, then... Uh, I probably would die, I guess, inside. Do -do 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 -do. If you're wondering what if uh, sorry, I can't freaking speak properly anymore. If you're wondering what we're making right now, you can do exclamation mark project or exclamation mark building in the chat, and both of those commands would hopefully answer your questions about what we're doing. God, I've I really need to like clean out my inventory. I, I think it's because of like the excess amounts of like fireworks I have that's causing like a cloggage in my uh, inventory um, system, I guess, or not system, but like my space is a bit too much. All right. Oh, well, we'll deal with that later on, I guess. I think I found a song, but I don't think it will fit the aesthetic of the stream. I mean, the previous, like, music review did not really fit the aesthetic of the stream that much. So, honestly, I don't really care too much about, like, uh, what the aesthetic, or whether or not the, sorry. Whether or not, like, the music fits the, uh, aesthetic of the stream or not. Pretty much, music review is music music review. I just listen to see if it's like worthy of like being added to like my playlists or not, and whether it's a good track or not. So honestly, it doesn't really matter too much. Where the frick did you all come from? Did you just all spawn in from like the area I was working on in terms of walls? What the frick? Okay, anyway, um, there is an excess amount of red glass that might despawn pretty soon, even though I don't really care too much about them. Animals its leaders microaggressions. Interesting. All right, I'll take a look at that uh, pretty shortly. Hmm. I'm gonna try and make this into like a simple, like a uh, two building sort of area, I believe. This better be good, because I swear to God, if it's not good, then we're completely and utterly fricked. Eh, we definitely need to add some extrusions to this building or else it will not look very neat or not look very interesting at all. So, we'll probably add, like, an extrusion, probably somewhere here for this building real quick. Oh my god, leave me alone, you freaking ho baby hoglin shites. Alright, going over here. Add a bit of an extrusion. Yeah, that looks pretty good. Break this. Oh my god, leave me alone. I already tried to murder you multiple times, just leave me alone, you stupid baby hoglin. Alright, anyway. 
Time for the second music review, I guess. Whether this will be good or not, I have no idea. And also, rest in peace, VOD viewers who have to listen to this. And I I'll try not to make or get our, like, uh, the VOD channel, like, copyright strike. Or even this Twitch channel, like, copyright strike. But who knows? Let's see how terrible or great this track is. Because I have no idea, honestly. Like, I'm only going to be listening probably, like, in the first, um, or second half. I think the second half of any, like, track will be a good way of, like, indicating if it's good or not. And whether this is going to be appropriate to listen to or not, so let's see. I don't think this is progressive. Uh, or progressive rock, because it sounds more... It sounds a lot more, like, focused onto metal, based on, like, that bass, like, guitar in the background. That being said, it's not bad. Yeah, I don't think this is progressive, I think. It sounds more like, um... Oh, what type of rock version is this? I like the riffs though. The guitar riffs and stuff like that is not too bad. I think this is alternate, not progressive, because it definitely sounds more alternate. Because I can't fit this into like any major genre, because it's definitely not metal. It definitely isn't progressive, because it has. Progressive would have much more of a, like a melody, sort of like a psychotic sort of trance feel to it. This sounds more alternate rock than anything else, really. That being said, it's not too bad. Um, I wouldn't really add this to a playlist, though, because it's way too, like, mixturous. But again, I think that's the reason why this, why this is part of, like, an alternate sort of, like, uh, rock track. Yeah, the, the melody, or not the melody, the uh, beat is actually kind of all over the place, so it's definitely a little bit alternate, I think. My friend says it's down the music rabbit hole. I mean, I can kind of understand. So yeah, so all I can really say about this track is that it's definitely not progressive. It's most likely like an alternate rock sort of thing, because I can't link it to anything that's specifically like to a genre that is like, uh, well, like rock bespoke. It has traces of like both like metal... Uh, maybe some punk rock, I guess? But yeah, I think it's probably alternate. It's not progressive at all, because it would have more of a melody focus or something like that if it's a little bit progressive. But this is a lot more, like, um, more experimental, alternate, because the beats are much more different. The riffs are basically similar to, like, metal, but there's, like, a lot more different, like, varying types of drum beats. So yeah, that's all I can really say about that. Not gonna add this to any of my playlists, but interesting track, though. I'm not much of an experimentalist to sort of, like, uh, listener, though, so it's a little bit more, mm, yeah, alternate. Yeah, I don't know if they're progressive. This is, like, their main sort of thing to, like, play. This is more experimental, because I can't think of... Yeah, I can't connect this to, like, a, a similar to, like, a progressive rock, similar to, like, Pink Floyd, some Led Zeppelin as well, and stuff like that. That's what I'm trying to reference to, because that's pretty much, like, the main definition of what progressive rock is, or somewhat like that, I guess. Anyway... Back to uh, the regular schedule, that's our second music review to the VOD viewers or anyone else watching this. And rest in peace, our uh, channels, like, um, yeah, I, I don't know if this is gonna... I mean, technically this is fair use, because I'm kind of reviewing and critiquing the sort of content I'm listening to, I guess. So this is technically in, like, a proper sort of, like, uh, I have no idea if this is still gonna be allowed in, like, terms of, like, the channel or whatever like that. But who knows, who knows. Maybe I can argue that for, like, against any sort of major DMCA claims or whatever like that. But who knows. Alright, anyway, let's keep going around through here. Mm -mm -mm. Back to more chill vibes, I guess. Ah, mm -mm -mm. oh, frick, did I accidentally drop, like, another thing? I have no idea. Anyway, sorry for the possible copyright. I mean, that's what I was already anticipating when it comes to like these sort of music reviews and stuff like that so honestly I'm not too surprised or should be surprised at all so don't mind that 
Uh, I don't care about genres anymore. I mostly just decide song by song, artist by artist. Eh, it depends. Sometimes artists would change a bit of their genres a little bit, so like often or not you're trying to like get like a bespoke sound from like your artist, but then all of a sudden their sound gets a little bit different, so it, it still like matters a bit about what genre you're listening to or what genres you like to focus on listening, because that basically like kind of forms what your taste is, because when an artist changes their genres a little bit, it can be a bit shocking, if you know what I mean, to like uh, get used to. It is important though to like uh, broaden your amount of like um, what's the word listening experiences I guess to like multiple genres so that way you know what is your favorite out of all of them or what is your sort of taste in all of them I guess it's it's hard to describe like um, the sort of like um, way of like having to like listen to like different music all the time or whatever like that or what's the right practices of doing that um, but it's pretty much like my life is pretty much just being. Uh, bit of like a slight audiophile I guess in some ways but then again I'm not really a huge like elitist when it comes to like uh, figuring out which is the music I like to listen to or what is the gear that people should listen to compared to like others or whatever like that it just matters down to like what my taste is mm -mm. RX right, so monkeys new al al newest album yeah it's quite different than the rest not gonna lie I mean that's pretty fair enough but yeah, artists would still have to experiment and try like new ideas anyway, and that's not the fault of like them having to change their genres and all that stuff. But it is important to like note if you don't have like um, good sort of experience, or not much of experience, but like good sort of knowledge about like a range of different genres, it might be shocking if like a favorite artist you're listening to changes genre and then you'd just be like, wow, this sucks or whatever like that. But it's it's good to have a good broad sort of like taste in like different genres I guess. So that way you get used to like all the different forms of like stuff you listen to. But that's just my sort of thoughts about like when it comes to like uh, adapting or listening to different genres I guess. It might be different for you guys um, in some ways. Alright. So far I kind of want to leave the shape of this building as it is for now. I mean the shape for this building is perfectly okay-ish. Uh, we might extrude a little bit on the edges over here though. Just to make sure there's a little bit of extra space here to work with in terms of our uh, building for the insides. Once that's sorted out, we should be able to like get a little bit more room over here. Alright, there we go. Hopefully this is going to look pretty nice. Mm -mm -mm. Not too sure what else to really say about that comment, uh, Lastify. I don't usually, like, listen to albums again and again and again until I'm sick of it. Like, I don't really know how to really, like, comment on that, honestly. Alright, so far we've got some pretty good layouts of two buildings here. Just quickly add some, like, uh, basalt accents. Or, not accents. Pillars around the edges of where the wall, uh, sections are. If, uh, if you're a new viewer to this channel, um, yeah, to this channel, by the way, and have no idea what the different, um, sorry, if you have no idea what are the different types of, like, uh, stained glass colors I'm using right now, or why am I using these different types of, like, uh, stained glass colors for, like, building outlines, you can do exclamation mark guide, by the way, to get a little bit of a sort of, um, I don't know, cheat sheet, I guess, about what the different colors or different stain colors mean in, like, a nice sort of, like, infographic, I guess. That way you can actually kind of have like the same sort of like idea of what I'm thinking of uh, whenever I'm forming these sort of building plans. It's pretty hard to convey that into words and stuff like that or the rationale why I like can like put these into like these sort of like um, layouts or whatever like that. But the guide can help you a little bit with uh, visioning uh, what the sort of layout could be. So that's exclamation mark guides if you want to take a look at that. Um, okay, we still have zero... <laughs> Zero space in our inventory for now, because everything has been basically filled up with nothing but like pork chop, which is a slight problem. I mean, it's not a bad problem, it's just that we have way too much food in our hands, so let me just quickly dump all that real quick, because I don't necessarily need so much food in our inventory. Uh, let me go back to the forward operating area over here. Blah, blah, blah. There we go. Ah, frick, I messed this up. There we go. 
Yeah, that's pretty much like normal for like people like you, uh, second. I mean, there's always gonna be like an audience that hate like the main mainstream sound and all that stuff. But like both mainstream and like underground sound both have their own like special characteristics, and it's just really down to people's taste. I really hate the elitism of like both sides though, saying that like underground stuff is just pretty much like, I don't know, like way too like, uh, what's the word, dull or just way too like boring after a while while people in like the underground scene say the mainstream stuff is so boring and less like interesting to listen to. Like who gives a shite honestly? Like it's, it's just different tastes or not really different tastes, it's just different types of sound. Like one that's more accepted by society while others are like not really too much accepted by society, but who gives a shite if you guys don't if there's some people, like, out there on the internet that doesn't give a shit about your sound or whatever like that. Just focus on the stuff that you like to listen to. Alright, anyway. Time to keep going around through here. And just break all these over here a little bit. So just need to arrange the... Bleh, arrange these, uh, shulker boxes to... Bleh, I can't speak anymore. Into, like, a good sort of arrangement. Oh my god, why is my brain not working today? I guess it's because I didn't... <sighs> begin to start a little bit. I guess it's because I did not really get too much sleep last night because I was like doing some work like actual work uh, last night so I guess that's the reason why my brain's acting kind of stupid today but who knows. All right let's see over here so we can see what we can occupy around this sort of space. This would have to be a huge like building complex of some kind so there'll be like multiple buildings that'll be like um Actually, no, it will be like one whole building, but we'll split those up into like multiple like buildings, I guess, or rooms, I guess, to treat as like each different building, I guess, around through here. That's the sort of idea when it comes to like dealing with these large plots of land. And ideally, it should be fine, I guess, or once the buildings are going to be constructed, everything should be fine and nothing too whack is going to happen. Unless something does, then, uh, then we panic. But usually, it like for these like sort of, sort of big buildings, nothing usually goes terribly terribly wrong. God, I really cannot talk properly, can I? Gotta love my brain. <laughs> now climbing the government ranks, there, Jesus Christ. I mean, once you have, like, world-building tools and able to, like, start, like, moving mountains, I guess you probably would have, like, some sort of control of the government after a while, I guess. But yeah, that sounds terrifying. Still pretty pog, though. These freaking piglins really like to patrol around the areas that I want to work in. So that's really, really nice. Appreciate that piglin AI. Really appreciate that. Alright. Get that uh, basic layout sorted out. Again, there's an actual guide. If you do exclamation mark guides, there's a nice sort of image or imgur like link there that shows you the guides of what the different types of like uh, glass blocks mean. You can all perish, you freaking bloody hog, hog pickle and shites. I keep. Oh my god, I keep mixing those two freaking mobs, like, mobs together, because they're both, like, the same type of species, I swear to god. I mean, it's like the equivalent of, like, humans and gorillas, I guess. Where, like, um, I guess, like, hoglins are gorillas while piglins are humans, I guess. But yeah, these, uh, these guys are really trying to be annoying. Mm -mm -mm. Alright, there we go. Add like a layer of blocks over here. These are wall blocks. Right, I wonder, I want to definitely know how hot this room is going to be. I think with the exception of, I think, two days ago, um, yesterday was extremely humid. I mean, it only reached up to like 27 degrees, so it's not as humid as like, I would say like, uh, I mean, Saturday was fine. Friday and Thursday were kind of unbearable, though. So hopefully it's not going to be too unbearable for today, but I have a bad feeling, like, um... So what's the word? Yeah, it's going to... I'm going to have a bad feeling that the temperature of, like, our, um... Uh, outside weather for today, or probably, like, the rest of this week is going to be pretty bad. It's been very, very hot as of recently. 
Who the heck is hammering outside? I'm trying to do like actual building stuff in this game, please. Also, leave me alone, you freaking hoglin shite. Leave me alone. Appreciate the free food, though. And yeah, it is a pretty cool way of planning. Mm -mm. Alright. Let's sort out. Let's quickly add what my brain is trying to do. My god. Place down the wall blocks here. Mm -hmm. This is a really nice ambiance track. There we go. That's a pretty big layout for a building and stuff like that, but that's kind of the point. So how do we split this up into multiple buildings? I guess what we can try and do is probably split this area up. Roughly around in half around here. Too bad I'm not late game enough to like do it just yet. I mean, that's perfectly fine. Oh my god, you, you can just perish, please. You really are trying to be very annoying. Okay. See what our layouts can work as. We could probably put like a bit of like a small indent over here and treat this as like an individual building, so that could work. We just have to make sure there's enough space for everybody. Like so. Mm -hmm. Would that work pretty well, or would that be a bit too much of like a weird like a uh, slope over here? Maybe it's better if I leave it like this, maybe. Hmm. Well, that's enough space. Yeah, I guess that kind of fits as like a very small office of some kind. Then we can add like some sort of extrusion over here to act as like a bit of an entrance way. That could work pretty well. There we go. A nice simple two block wide sort of doorway. God, my freaking blade like skin really is trying to be very weird today. Maybe it's the weather or like the humidity of this room. It has been very humid as of recently. Um, okay, we're gonna expand this wall a little bit. Just a little bit to the left hand side, just to make sure there's a little bit of extra room for this small building. I don't even know if that's gonna be a good idea or not, because that'll be pretty close. Actually, no, it will fit pretty well. With the rest of like the other buildings over here. All right, there we go. I'm already beginning to sweat. I swear to God, if this room's trying to kill me, leave me alone, room. All right, anyway. That should be fine. We'll add a doorway around through here. Maybe just a simple, like, one block doorway will be fine. Don't want to make things a bit too extravagant. Or should I make it asymmetrical? Uh, maybe a slightly asymmetrical. Oh, I shouldn't have not done that. Oh, my brain. My poor brain. Alright. Have that lead up all around through here. Just like so. Um, I'm gonna move this a little bit. There we go. That should look much more better. A little bit of an asymmetrical sort of uh, area here. It'll look an interesting. Uh, hopefully it will look a little bit more interesting and we can work out a little bit something over here. Yeah, so far that looks pretty alright. We can probably add an extrusion over here just to make things a little bit more interesting for this building. Just adding a little bit of extra depth to some parts of the buildings here. Which is really important. Or really nice and important to, like, uh, maintain. Oh my gosh, leave me alone, you fricks. Leave me alone, for heaven's sakes. You guys really have zero chill. Okay, move this a little bit over here. Um, maybe another block over here as well, just to make sure there's enough space here. 
I know, by the way, in our DCA. Still a very interesting name, though. It is I, the guy. Yeah, the guy, I guess. Hope you're doing pretty nice so far, NRD. Still, I have no idea if that's the right way of pronouncing your name, but hope you're doing pretty well. Alright. We could probably make, like, a nice sort of, like, corner extrusion over here, actually. So we have that just sort of, like, surrounding this space over here. Anyway, I am. Why are you always placing down glass? Because I'm trying to plan out some buildings over here. That's the reason why I'm placing down glass. It's almost like I want to build, like, a city over here, but I need to plan some stuff, because I've learned from, like, my previous city project that if I don't plan stuff, I'm gonna cause a lot of headaches for myself. So that's what I'm doing. Alright. Break this. It's better than the always plays ice era, yeah. And the YOLO places down, like, wooden blocks to see if that plans out, um, works out for, like, planning buildings. God, planning, like, um... Yeah, planning out, like, the buildings for Ice Nemesis was an absolute pain in the arse, so this is a greatly better improvement than that. It's pronounced Nordica, but it's uh, NRDCA because uh, vowels were taken, apparently. Lovely. Anyway, Nordica, that's a nice name. But yeah, I hope your day's been doing pretty nice, though, Nordica. Gonna move this a little bit over here. What the frick is the temperature now? My thermometer is like hiding beneath one of my monitors because I'm using the standing desk at the moment, so I cannot tell how bloody warm this stupid room is, so that's lovely. Um, anyway, it looks pretty good so far. Yeah, I think that, yeah, with the shapes of like the buildings over here, it looks nice and ver um, varied. So we could definitely work this around with like, um, yeah, as like a way of dealing with these buildings here. Should I put the entrance over here? Or should I put an entrance over here? I think it's better if I put like an entrance to this building over here, I guess. It'll look a little bit more nicer. There we go. I made another song with my friend, which is why I'm doing pretty well. Nice. Glad to hear you're doing pretty well with uh, making some songs. I'm always pretty pog that like hear some people making like uh, music with like friends and whatnot, because I always want to like uh, try and experiment with making some like uh, tracks and whatnot, but I never really have the time or know anybody that would be willing to, like, uh, help out in some ways. Then again, it would also cost, like, a lot of money as well, so... That's also another reason why I don't go for that sort of pathway yet. Or that sort of opportunity yet. What the frick do I mean by pathway? Anyway, everything looks to be pretty much in order. These are pretty big buildings. Um... <laughs> to consider, like, being placed in, like, these sort of, like, uh, plots of land, I guess. But I guess there really isn't too much to really, like, um... Yeah, there really isn't too much to really comment, I guess, about these sort of, like, plots of land. I mean, they're nice and spacious, though. You know you aren't not normal. He meant he hasn't met people who make their own songs. Okay, that makes total sense, I guess. Still very whack. Oh yeah, by the way, it's Gog. Hope your day's been doing pretty nice. Anyway, let's add another plot of buildings over here, and hopefully that's gonna look pretty good. I mean, these are very, like, um, symmetrical-shaped, like, areas to work on some buildings, so I should not have any major problems with, like, uh, making these look slightly good, I guess. But we'll see. We can still probably ruin, like, a very, like, perfectly big space of land for something. Oh god, these freaking, like, piglin shites over there in the distance, though. Those shulker boxes love to spawn in those mobs, because apparently it's still treated as a full block, um, I guess, for shulker boxes, which I guess makes kind of s a bit of sense. But yeah, that one just makes it a, l a little bit more annoying to, like, work with. Mm -mm -mm. This is nice and peaceful. If it weren't for the fact that it's currently boiling right now, I might need to turn on the fan. Um, pretty soon, again, just to make sure that there's not enough, like, uh, or a crap ton of hot air, uh, blowing through, uh, or going through this room right now. So it is starting to get a little bit warm. A little bit too warm, I would say. 
Is there a way to clear out all of your Discord notifications without having to click on each chat individually? I mean, you can do um, read all on like every single Discord server icon. Just right click on the Discord server icon and read all and that also clears out all the notifications off like the server and stuff like that. That's a very handy feature that I use all the time if there's like a notification that I do not need to like read because I already know what the notification could be from like a Discord server and stuff like that. All right, we'll just keep going around through here. Oh my gosh. Around through here. All right, you piglins, just mind your own business. I can hear you holding something over there. So just leave me alone. All right, so the more energy, a little bit more energetic music, which is pretty nice. Again, this doesn't really fit the holiday theme, but I like this energetic uh, sort of like chiptune music from Sonic Frontiers. Um, okay. Do I want to make this completely symmetrical? Eh. Eh, I'm gonna break that rule a little bit and see what happens. <laughs> Alright, go over here. Alright, there we go. Add an extrusion over here a little bit. Let me see if I can just try and add some extrusion. And just Freaking me, I can't speak properly. Just add some like simple extrusions around the sides of these walls and see if we can fit some buildings here. Whether it will work or not, I have no idea. <laughs> and let's add an extrusion for this corner here. That'll be looking a bit interesting. Considering that all the buildings next to it is already been extruded pretty well. Alright, there we go. Add that. Or yeah, that's land over here. This track really reminds me of a lot of like different types of Sonic levels, holy frick. Alright, how does those extrusions look? This area is a little bit tight. Might need to expand this by just a small bit over here. Ow! Leave me alone, you frick. Let's just expand this by just a small bit and see if that looks a little bit better. Land there, thank you. Is that going to be enough space? It's only going to be three blocks wide, but at the same time, I don't think that's a huge bother, I guess. I think it would just be better if I just have this connect together like this. That'll give us, like, ample room while adding, still having that extrusion. Yeah, I guess that fits a little bit better, I guess. Alright. So far, we've got extrusions over there. We can probably fit like a building of some kind around through here. Or actually, multiple buildings here, actually. So we can see if adding an extrusion here can help a little bit. Also, a little bit of a reminder in 50 seconds ish, there's going to be an incoming mid roll ad break. That's going to help us like disable pre rolls for like the rest of the stream or parts of like the rest of the stream. So just a little bit of a heads up to those who are not yet subscribed yet. I cannot sing the freaking melody whatsoever. <laughs> Sounds like a medical room sort of thing. Jesus, alright. There we go, got another extrusion over there. God, this entire building is going to be interesting to work with. I think we're going to fit like four or five buildings here because there's a lot of space that we can uh, deal with, I guess, for today or for this entire plot of land. So we're going to add, quickly add the wall blocks or the wall guide blocks and see what uh, we can do with that, I guess. Mm -mm -mm. Right, all these sort of things. I wonder what those piglins are up to. They're just all vibing all over the place. Do, 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 do. Any minute now, the ad break is actually going to start. I kind of love freaking like Twitch's ad manager just not like playing the ads as soon as it's about to like start or whatever like that. 
Your ad is about to stop. No shite. It's it still hasn't even played yet. Twitch. All right. Anyway. I mean, the more delayed it is, I guess, the better. People are at least able to listen to me for a while. Any song recommendations for us? Again, I have no idea. <laughs> it's really just down to how, what people's tastes are. Also, here comes the incoming ad break, so let me just quickly throw this over here for a little bit. I'm actually gonna, like, spend the ad break a little bit, just setting things up, because my legs are going to die, and my freaking body's going to die, because it's so freaking bloody warm in this stupid bloody room. And the fan fell down. I'm so good at, like, preparing my room. Okay, turn on, please. Why is it unplugged? No. Why is the fan unplugged? Oh, oh, shite. 